This is a Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus. And this is Fedora 36. Some of you might be asking, why would someone even dare to install Linux on a literal Microsoft product? You know, the guys that make Windows and what is apparently malware. Yeah, sure thing. Let me tell you, I was actually so excited to make this video and not gonna lie, Linux on the Microsoft Surface is awesome. Like, the tablet on its own is really cool. And then you go ahead and combine it with GNOME's gestures and voila, you have a solid desktop experience right here that actually has a way better touch experience than Windows does. And it even works on most Linux distros right out of the box. Or at least it does if you happen to own a Microsoft Surface lower than my Pro 7 Plus. The touchscreen of the Surface Pro 7 Plus, Pro 8, as well as the Surface Laptop Studio don't work without a special driver that is not yet installed by default. This is because Intel introduced a new touch controller with their 11th gen CPUs. And actually, until very recently, it didn't work at all. Funny side note here, by default, it does not even work on the Windows. And they have to pull the driver with a Windows update unless you've installed the Surface explicit version. I mean, pulling drivers from a repository is not something new, but this is a Microsoft device. If you want to know if your specific Surface supports all of its features, then go ahead and check out the Linux Surface project on GitHub, which features a neat little overview of all of the features that already work and which are being developed right now. It also features custom kernels for the most popular Linux distributions, but more on this later. Alright, let's talk about Linux on the Surface and why I think that it is actually better than Windows. First, the desktop environment I'm using right now is GNOME 42 and it's far better suited for a touchscreen than Windows could ever be right now. It has big buttons, it's easy to find apps and the whole navigation in general just feels really really smooth and great. Linux on the Microsoft Surface even supports the tablet mode, which GNOME picks up immediately. And the rotation is just like instant. Solid work there folks. Well, those features are like nice and everything, but why would you want to switch from Windows over to Linux? Well, first, let's talk about performance and battery life. If you own a Microsoft Surface Pro 5 or higher, and your Linux distribution comes with the Linux kernel 5.13, then you can use power profiles, which can help you to dramatically increase your battery life. Personally, I recommend you to leave the setting on balanced simply because I wouldn't recommend you to change the profile in Windows either. The balanced power profile is like, well, as the name states, a balance. If your device needs the power, then it gets it. If not, then it won't really change your battery life. The power saver profile really comes into play when you want to limit your device's performance, for example, for 3D rendering. You're losing FPS, but you gain battery life. But it just depends on the use case. Another advantage of Linux over Windows is that it is more lightweight, which not only helps you to boost your performance a tiny bit, but also to save storage, which is extremely important if you are on the lower end of the spectrum, but also that the whole operating system as of its own just feels way smoother. But that being said, Linux on the surface is not perfect. And there are still many features that need tweaking. For example, most devices don't have camera support yet. And on newer devices, the touch pen does behave like a mouse instead of a touch gesture. Once you even get it to work with experimental features. I think that this is fair criticism, but we are not far away from all of the features to work just fine across all of the Microsoft Surface devices. And after that, what is going to happen when all of it just works? You have a device that is able to properly run desktop applications with a touch screen and pen. You will get a far longer battery life than Windows simply because most Linux desktop environments still tend to be way lighter than Windows. And because of that, you will also get more storage out of it. Now, some of you might be asking, what about security features like facial recognition or a fingerprint sensor? Well, let me tell you. Most of the Windows specific features like BitLocker that encrypts your drive or Windows Hello can be used on Linux, by either using already built-in OS-specific tools or tools like Howdy for face recognition. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that Linux on a tablet-like device is superior to Windows, simply because it is still a tablet. It's not a desktop, it is a tablet. 
Well, that sounded almost like a summary, but we're not done yet. Let me actually show you how you can even install Linux on a Surface. And for a product that is produced by Microsoft, it is surprisingly easy to do. Just go ahead, download the Linux distro of your choice and make a bootable USB stick. Then go ahead, put the USB stick into the USB-A port if your Surface still has one and hold down power and volume up in order to get into the UEFI. In the UEFI, make sure to change the secure boot configuration from Microsoft only to Microsoft and third-party CA if your Linux distribution supports secure boot or set it to none if not. By the way, you also need to disable secure boot if you need to install the ITHC touchscreen driver unless you want to create your own certificate and sign it manually. Then go ahead and make sure to change the boot order so that you are booting from the USB stick and hit exit in order to start the installation. Once finished, I would recommend you to follow the instructions on the Linux Surface GitHub if you want to get the most out of your device. Just make sure that you enter the right commands for your Linux distribution. And yeah, I think there is not really much to say, except what is my personal experience so far. Well, let me tell you, I've been working with Fedora on this thing for quite some time and it just feels like it belongs on there. You see, the thing is, and I think I already mentioned this a lot, it is a tablet, not a desktop PC. You're not running extremely demanding programs on this thing. So basically Linux has all of the applications you will ever need. You get longer battery life, you have way more storage, and like the touchscreen gestures are way better, at least if your desktop environment has good ones. Of course, since I'm on a newer Surface device, the cameras don't work yet, so no facial recognition, but the developers are already on it. And hey, one month ago, even the touchscreen was not working, and now it does. So if you've liked this video, then make sure to show it with a like and even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you've liked this video, then you've certainly enjoyed this one. Tell me in the comments which video you got. I don't know it, YouTube decides. And all that's left to say now is, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.